Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hot looking brunette by the toe. If she hollers, don't let her go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hot looking brunette. Screw it, let's try this uh, electric saw today. This big still 250. The biggest still electric saw there is. Okay. So this is a piece of western red cedar I got, uh, I think last year I got like 10 pieces like this. I made a video where I had to dolly it out of somebody's yard. But this is not very good cedar at all. This grain is a little bit tighter than the other logs I did, but lots on the other logs I did, lots of this uh, water wood here, sapwood, whatever they call it, it was bug infested. So I've let it sit, this piece sit for a year now, so the bark comes off a lot easier. So that's a good thing, guys. So let your log sit, the bark will come off easier in a year, but you can see like little bug holes in there. So I don't know. So I thought that I'm gonna uh, carve a whimsical house today. A gnome home. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm filming on my GoPro and I'm gonna got that, uh, that head mount thing so I can put it on my head and try chainsaw carving like three dimension uh third person something like video game stuff or whatever okay yeah sorry yeah okay bye okay 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 guys only a certain amount of bark would peel off so i'll just cut this off um this is the still mse 26 uh 250 c it's electric saw okay so i got it sharpened up i hope it's gonna work here's the oil it's oiled and uh yeah okay so let's try this out today I don't know if it'll blow the breaker in here or not, so we'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, so this saw cuts pretty damn good and it wasn't even a ripping chain on there I should have had a ripping chain, but that's okay So you guys, you know, like I say in lots of my videos always clean the wood up first Like I knew and the more you work with different types of wood guys, you're gonna know you're gonna know you're gonna expect problems So I expected that all this water wood uh, Whatever Sap wood would be rotten There it is. It's all rotten. Look at it so I cleared it all away from the roof because I'm gonna cut a I'm gonna cut a roof line in here now, right? I'll draw it in. So I made this roof slope bigger than this one, right? Just to mix it up. So I'm gonna cut here, and then I'm gonna undercut to bring this roof hang over. And all this crappy wood here needs to be cut off. We're on the whole piece, it's all garbage. And I was expecting that. A lot more work, but why I chose to use this crappy wood for this for this gnome home thing is because when I take this under when I cut in here I'm gonna go about two inches okay I'm gonna leave it thick because it's gonna be outdoor piece right don't make it too thin or it will break I'm gonna donate this piece to an elementary school or uh, to the spirit trails but if you make it too thin somebody's gonna break it kids are gonna jump on this thing and stuff right so I'm gonna make the roof line thick but then I have to uh, I can't think of the name I have to taper away all this wood here you'll see so it started anyways and also guys that thing on my head I didn't know how to figure it out I don't know if it worked or not but uh, I got that idea from uh, Ryan Cook at Ryan Cook Carves and Kyle Hall they both do that so I thought I'd step up my game and try it out well I'm not smart enough yet so give me a break come on
Okay. So it's now three years later. Why do you ask why it's three years later, Jordy? Well, because that's how long it took to clean up that bullshit rotten waterwood. And now I remember how much I hate this cedar. This uh, is probably my most unliked cedar yet to carve. I just think it's terrible quality. Not that bad, but you guys can see the grain here. This stuff's more like it rips away. That's not because I have dull saws. That's because this stuff's junk. See how it's kind of like that? So I use my ripping saw to take all that crap off. There's the pile right there. You guys, chainsaw carving's a lot of work. It's a lot of cleaning up too. Like look at this pile of crap I got here. That's nothing. That is nothing. Here's that big, uh, hold on. Here's that big, this is a big Douglas spur slab. That's uh, like, look at the size of my hand. That my buddy wants me to carve an island here and make the rest water. So I don't know, it's carving end grain. So I'll probably use my, um, my friggin' router. Yeah, router thing. So anyways, what I'm gonna do now is um, I haven't decided like I'm gonna make a door down here. First of all, I gotta decide what I, which way I want the front and the back. So there's gonna be a door at the bottom and some windows in it and some bricks or whatever. Or if this is gonna be the front of it. I kinda like this look right here. It looks like it's kinda leaning, right? So anyways, what I'm gonna do now is um, carve the shingles in because it's, it's easy to do and uh, I'll blast those quick in maybe when I'm doing this my mind will open up like I say in my videos guys your mind really opens up once you start doing the carvings right so don't forget to offset your shingles just like bricks like Ben Studio in the lake said okay so what I'm going to do is cut straight in here with my chainsaw uh, still 193 with a dime tip bar. I'm gonna cut straight in, all the way up and down, all these, and then I'm gonna undercut, okay? I could just do an undercut. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Then I'll cut these little lines in and whatever. So I got all the shingles cut in and I thought I'd burn it but I I could clean this up with my saw just give it a quick skim but I decided that I'm gonna because uh, it doesn't look very nice obviously I'm just gonna use this here it comes cuts all extreme shaping disc on a four inch well it's four inch disc okay so you guys when you're using these be very careful they can kick back and you they will cut you they will cut you it's like that show uh, uh, forged of fire it will kill well, this will cut. Anyways, um, I'm gonna clean it up with this. If you guys wanna get these cuts all discs, go to the description below. Uh, we'll take you to the cuts all site, use the code CFUSION, and you save yourself 5%. Okay, so let me get this cleaned up here. Okay, 
Okay, so that's much better. Not perfect, but good enough. So let's uh, fire up this torch here. I don't know if I'm going to paint this, th this piece or... Okay, so I got the roof uh, all burnt in. I think I'm just gonna seat all this piece, burn it all and seat all it. Like I said, I'm not trying to make a, a spaceship here, guys. So um, I decided that this part was around back before and this is the look that I wanna go. It kinda looks more tilted this way. I could even cut, like cut right out here, but that's okay, it's good enough. So now I'm gonna draw in a big door and a couple windows and I'll be back. Okay, you can see I got the door drawn on there. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. And I got a window, round window. Might change my mind, but I'm gonna start blocking this out with my, uh, cutting it out with my uh, 193 with my dime tip bar. You guys, when you got the carving bars, that's when you can make, you can make really things, things really round, right? So, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so here we go with another uh, voiceover. Hopefully it sounds better this time. The microphone I bought is supposed to be a good one and it kind of sounds like it uh, has coarse or a phaser pedal hooked up to it. So you can you see here I am trimming out the door. You guys, I'm not trying to make this look like an amazing carving, like nothing's really gonna be sanded and it's just gonna look like a chainsaw carving and it's it's gonna go, go in a kid's uh, playground around a sound, sandbox. Here I am cutting the door handle in, but you see how small little round you can cut in that, uh, with that dime tip bar? Okay, so yeah, talk to you later. See ya. Okay guys, you can see I got the door carved in here quickly. This, that white wood at the bottom is still a bit of that rotten crap. I got a round window put in here. Um, and I got this window put in the back there. Just quick whimsical stuff. So I decided I am going to donate this piece to an elementary school here in my town that I went to when I was a kid. I uh, failed grade four, and so when I failed the, the grade four, you know, it's hard when you're a little child. I um, said, well, I want to go to a different school because I don't want all my friends to be in an older grade, older grade than me. So I went to another school. And then grade five or grade six, I got kicked out of that. I got expelled from that school. And the only school that would take, all the kids had votes in the schools, in the elementary schools. The only school that would take me back was a school that I failed in grade four and it's called Ladner Elementary. So they asked me if I would, uh, if they could pay me to do some carvings for their um, like little uh, kindergartens and one year olds. I says, well, I can't, you know, since I got, since I love that school so much, I'd rather donate stuff than getting paid for it. So this will be for the school. And I'll, I think tomorrow I'll come and do some little mushrooms for it. I just don't know if I should paint it or if I should just kind of burn it and then sea toll it and it will last longer. So I'm not really too sure about that point yet. Maybe, uh, I'll let, what do you guys think? I should paint it? What colors or should I just burn it and sea toll it? Um, so, but anyways, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, all this bulk area here. I think I'll pull out my Mampa tools and I'll kind of just give it like my uh, wizard look. So it's kind of like this, like whoosh, it's all spinning. What do you guys think? I don't know. You guys don't know. I... <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my Mampa tools. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Mampa tool, okay? It's like a chis chisel cutter. This is very dangerous. I leave the guard on. It's hooked up to a Dewalt die grinder. Um, it's a flap one. So in case something happens, you know, my hand, if I need, if something kicks back, my hand automatically comes off and it loses the power, right? So it's kind of annoying, but it's safe. So I'm going to run around. And if you guys want to get these Mampa tools, just go to Mampa, what is it? MampaTools.com. And they're just attachments for uh, die grinders. Okay, so I'm going to start cutting all this stuff in here.
Okay, here you can see I got all the uh, details cut in. You guys, I couldn't take my Mampa tools up into these corners. Well, because the guard's on there. So I just used my die grinder with this uh, cuts all bit. This is quarter inch on a old school die grinder. I got the Makita one too, but this one I don't know why I like to use. But anyways, this is another cuts all bit quarter inch extreme flame. I just went inside there and did all that and down by the windows. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and uh, burn it. I don't want to burn it in here because there's like spider webs here. Like, you know, you guys just think about stuff like this, right? Just got to think about safety. So I'm going to take this outside, burn it, and then I'll sand it. Yep. Somebody got a new torch! <laughs> Okay, so I got it uh, all burnt up. So I got this sander. I don't have much sandpaper. This is a Peter Blair manual on the drill. This is all I got for sandpaper here, so it's getting pretty low. I decided that I want to paint the um, door green to give the kids some brightness, right? Like normally I wouldn't paint my stuff, but I'm going to paint the door green and the windows yellow. Inside the windows yellow. Make it brighter for them, you know? Kids these days need brightness to get them off their phones and their computer games and all that stuff, right? They need brightness. So anyways, I'm going to sound this. I won't film it, but I'll get that done and then I'll be back. I'm getting tired. Okay, you can see I got it all sanded. For all those uh, self-proclaimed pros, now I know I got some chainsaw cut marks in here I didn't sand out because I didn't want to. Because it's a chainsaw carving. And there's going to be kids jumping all over it. Anyways, so I got it all sanded up. Now what I'm going to do to sand it, um, even make it brighter. So I got this Orbit sander with, I don't know, 80 grit on there. I'm just going to go along and hit the ends, uh, sorry, hit the ends of the shingles. Just to give them some highlights, do these windows things and, no, oh, okay, so. I just thought of something. Too bad the old principal that expelled me from the school in grade five didn't see me making this thing because I could be making one for their school. <laughs> ah, red door, red door, ah, red door, <laughs> red door, red rum, red rum. Red... But Jordy, you got some streaks in there. Not anymore. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so that's going to be it for today i gotta let this paint dry you can see i tried to paint a window on there but the paint was still wet so anyways um let's take a look at the back i painted that uh window on the back red just bright for the kids right come on guys think about the kids so uh anyways Tomorrow, I'm going to come back. Everything's going to be dry. I'm going to seat all it, okay? Um, and also, I got to go get some seat all first of all. And then I'm going to carve a shout out to Tammy. Hey, Tammy, I know you can carve mushrooms, but I'm going to carve three mushrooms here and I'm going to paint them for the kids. It's about the next generation, guys. Hopefully, it's better than the way things are going right now, but it's life. You just got to live with it. Hope you all good. Uh, I'm gonna go buy the seat tall and stuff right now, and uh, like tomorrow I'll sand this stuff up and I'll clean it up. Then we'll seat tall it and mushrooms. Now I gotta clean up my mess. It's either foggy or smoky. I don't know. See the sun. Doesn't smell smoky. Anyways, guys, 
that's a wrap oh one other thing 